This is Cindy G with My Scrap Chick, and in this video we will be assembling the golf shutter card. So I have my pieces laid out here. I'm going to set the main card pieces aside. These are the pieces that make the shutter. So we're going to start with these. This area here with no tabs on it is the area where your lever will work in opening and closing your shutters. And these pieces here are your shutters or the iris. So for this design, you need four mini brads. And I have them, I don't know if you can tell, but I have embossed my pieces with an embossing folder called Dots because it is a golf ball. So I embossed my pieces first. What you're going to do is stick your brad in from the bottom so that the part of the brad is sticking up. Do that to all four pieces. A little bit hard to find since I embossed my paper. Okay, so we want the brad sticking up. And then what you're going to do is with this tab here, you're going to insert that and twist it. Insert, twist around. Insert, twist. Insert, and twist. And these are going to be, to start, in the open position. And set it down. Now the holes are cut a little bit bigger here on the lever piece. And you want to start with your lever pointing down. And you're just going to lay this over your brads. Like so. Then lift it, make sure all the shutters are completely open, and then go ahead and tighten your brads. You want these to be tight. This, um, this lever is only being attached to the shutter pieces here with these brads, and you want your shutter to operate very smoothly. So we want these tight. There we go. So if you flip this over, you'll see here you've got some little tails hanging over. We're just going to fold these pieces down. You do not glue these. These have to move freely in the slots that are cut for them. Okay, and flip it back over. So right now you have a cue. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your solid circle and you're just going to lay it on top. You're going to hold this in place and take your glue and you're just going to apply glue to the top portion of these tabs because we don't want it to interfere on the side with the moving of the iris. And you're just going to fold these over. And you don't want them super tight, but you do want them to, um, to hold your card and your mechanism in place. So don't do it too so tight that your um, that your iris won't open and close. Okay, we're going to work all the way around and fold these tabs over. And the purpose of these tabs is to keep the shutters within the circumference of the iris so that um, so that it runs smoothly. We don't want them popping out of a side and then your shutter gets stuck and it won't open and close. 
So just take your time, work your way around. Just put glue right on the tip. Okay, so now we've got all of our supports in place. And you can test your card. I have a feeling that my, there we go. And see it's embossed so it kind of looks like a golf ball. <clears throat> Make sure your tabs stay down. And then just set this piece aside and let's work on, on the design. So we're gonna start with the grass. And we're just gonna do some little bit of inking to add some depth. This one just goes, the grass goes right down at the bottom. This cutout is for the iris. This cutout is for the lever. I'm going to lightly ink some blue around the edges of my clouds. There is a small piece included here for the front for you to write something on. Then you can write in the center. Um, we have, I don't even know what they call this in um, golf. I'll call it a flagpole. I think they call it a flag stick. I think that's what, what I saw. Um, this extra piece is not necessary if you just want the hole and the stick to be the same color. Um, you know, and that's fine. I cut my stick out in brown. I want my hole to be black, but not my stick. I'm going to use some of my black ink and ink my flag. Before I glue my flag down, I want to see where I would like my clouds to be. And there's, there's no right or wrong placement for these. They're just to fill some of the, some of the blank space there. There is also a golf tee. And this you're going to apply right at the center bottom here of the, of the hole, okay? clouds on.
for Valentine's Day. I was looking up cute sayings and one for golf said, you suit me to a T. I thought that would be cute for this. You suit me to a T. But you can use this for birthdays, anniversaries, anything really. It does not have to be Valentine. Okay, so there's that. So for the for the lever, you want to line this up right in there. And I've gone ahead and just designed my like base lever design. And then you can cut Your, your lever lever uh, to the length that you desire. Now this is a five by seven card. So you don't want your lever to be too, too long. And right, now you can put glue on this whole thing. I am just putting glue here on these tabs and then I'm just going to put some here. It was just to give me a place to put it. Now again, make sure that you line your, your lever up and then glue this down. Now I forgot to get out some of my foam tape, but because, because this mechanism uh, has so many layers. It's a little bit thicker. So you don't just want to glue this down to your page. You want to um, you want to use some foam foam squares. And just be mindful here not to get the foam in here to mess with your mechanism, but you should put a piece up here to support this. And I would just put them here and on the side and maybe one in the center. So each corner and one in the center. And then you, you adhere this to your card base. And it looks like I've had trouble keeping up with my little down arrow. And it looks like maybe I have knocked it off. But there is a little arrow to glue here that points down. You'll want to put that in. The file also comes with a liner for the inside of your card. So that way if you wanted a dark paper for the outside, you'll still have something that you can write on. Plus this adds a little more stability to the back of the card. So there it is. This is the golf shutter card. And thank you for joining me.